Fernando Campazzo, Austin Rivers, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Nikola Jokic. We've been. That's another one of those areas where you have to be alert even off the ball because Jokic, he, he forces multiple people to pay attention to him. Porter Jr., three to shoot, feathers one up. Campazzo bringing it down, flips it back to Jokic. Jokic trying to bully his former teammate four straight games. Paired with Lillard scoring 30 and seven straight. Ball to CJ. CJ always moving. What a start by the Blazers on fan appreciation night. Still on the rim for the Nuggets. They're 0 for 6. Lillard cross court pass deflected. Nuggets with the chance to transition. Bazo flips it out to Porter, corner three. That's games. Norman Powell, part of a championship run. CJ and Dane, part of the Western Conference Finals. And for CJ, the playoffs every season as a post ball game. Powell fakes the three, puts it on the floor. Nurk goes up straight. That was on the second of a back to back where they played against Utah and Phoenix. One of the tougher back to backs. You see the scores in your top left corner. The Thunder up 10 over the Clippers at this point. As Jokic, it was evident that this team had put out a lot of effort going into the playoffs. Yeah, I was actually talking to CJ two days ago, and he reminded me about the time when he came back from his injury, how he hadn't been able to practice with the team prior to return. Happy birthday to her. Well, the Nuggets bring a pair of their starters back on the floor. Jokic and Capazzo back into this game. This game, Blazers with a 19-point advantage. Again, the Nuggets have a playoff spot already locked up. Jokic trying to follow with just over five minutes left here in the second quarter. Lillard has been relatively quiet. Five points, but six assists, setting his teammates up. Bozzo will step into a three. And then the swing to Anthony, nothing was really there. Denver didn't have to close out. Anthony had to do that one-on-one. -on -one. Jokic. Trying to spin against Cantor, up with the right. But that's where you see the height advantage coming to play. Porter's release so high. He's getting that off. Porter at 6'10", was the 14th pick in 2018. We have a foul on the play. And he's saying the left arm pushes off. 11. And that's been the big difference for Nurk. Ever since he came back from his injury, it took him some time to get his balance back, but he just looks so much more balanced and under control. Yeah, he looks good. I, I, I got ahead of myself, Jordan. I gave him three extra points. <laughs> He'll get to 16. Get I'm to believing 16. he will. So, Jokic. Comes back for the free throw line. Kick ball on Kick Lillard. Ball. Decides to shoot it. He's getting a good look for him. He makes some really... A questionable attempts for most players look like a good shot for him because he's capable of making them. And with that height, he just gets it off with a lot of ease. Nurk gets the pass to Lillard, flips it to McCollum, who elevates it. Gordon with his first bucket, he's one for three. Lillard back to Nurkic. Nurkic stepping through. Playing 21 in the driveway back when you're a kid. Oh, Nurk. Nurk with 15 points, six of seven shooting. Nurk up and under, just rolls out, attacking once again. Ball, he'll dribble, take his time, lull you to sleep sometimes. You anticipate a handoff, and then he'll take it all the way to the basket. Dame drawing the foul on Composo. See that line of 17, 10, and 2 in just 13 minutes. And now Lillard whistled for the foul. That'll send Composo to the per game with 6.2 assists for the last 14 starts. Nuggets are 10 and 4 during that span. If the Blazers win and the Mavericks and Lakers lose, Portland moves up to number five. If Portland wins, Dallas loses in the first half. Blazers up 16. Basso, checked by Powell. The step back into a triple, rolls off.